need to learn WebRTC, then this is for you. I'm relaunching my advanced WebRTC architecture course, and I'd like to invite you to learn more about this course. My name is Sachi Levent Levy, and I'm the author of Blog Geek Me and the Advanced WebRTC Architecture course. What we'll do together in the next couple of minutes is see what exactly are the components of the course. The course is built out of seven main modules. Each module has multiple lessons in it, and in each lesson, you will get an understanding of a different part of WebRTC. Each lesson takes between 10 to 40 minutes of a video recording, including additional information and links so you can read further. The first module deals with the basics of WebRTC. This is where we'll review the history, the APIs, and the devices that WebRTC runs on top. The next two modules deal with signaling. Signaling doesn't come as part of WebRTC, so this is a very important part of the course. Module 2 will discuss network basics. If you're not familiar with networking, TCP, UDP, and things like that, then this would be a very important module for you. We'll cover TCP and UDP, obviously, but also HTTP, HTTPS, and WebSockets. And we'll see how these parts are linked to the need for signaling in WebRTC. Module number three focuses exactly on WebRTC signaling. We will discuss the different uh, methods we can use for signaling, be it C, XMPP, or a proprietary uh, kind of a solution. We will review security requirements, traversal requirements, and screen sharing in WebRTC. The next two modules are going to handle media. Module number four handles codecs. We will review all of the codecs in WebRTC audio and video codecs, what they mean, how to use them, and where they are available. Module number five will deal with media processing. Most of it will be for the part of dealing with uh, group calling. So we'll see how mesh works, routing through an SFU, and mixing through, mixing through an MCU. We will also go and see the different uh, approaches to recording WebRTC sessions and also to how trans transcoding works. Module number six will deal with third-party um, frameworks and services. This is where we look at the ecosystem around WebRTC. We'll no longer be dealing directly with WebRTC, but rather with the tools that are available for us, be it in the signaling domain, the media domain, server-side uh, solutions, CPaaS, or whatever else we need. We'll see the different advantages and challenges in each of uh, the approaches that we have and the strategies that we as developers have when we go about to architect architecture and build our service. Module number seven deals with different design patterns and use cases. In each lesson in this module, we'll get a certain uh, use case or scenario, for example, multi-party uh, video session or recording a one-on-one -on -one call or uh, live streaming, okay? We'll take this specific use case and we'll start unraveling it and see what are the components that we need in order to build a solution on top of it. On top of the seven modules of the course, there is a course forum. In the course forum, students can go ask questions and get answers for others in the community and for me directly. This is an integral part of the course itself. There are also office hours. Office hours take place twice a year. There are 12 office hours in each run and they are fit for all time zones. In each week that the office hours happen, I run it twice. One for very early in the morning in the East Coast and one for noon time on the West Coast. So these can fit anyone from Asia to the West Coast. These sessions are also recorded so that if you haven't been uh, listening in or missed one, you can go back and review the archived recording of that session. Each office hours is built out of two parts. The first part is a live lesson that takes anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes where I go online, I talk, and you can ask questions interactively. The lesson itself is either part of the course or part of something that has happened in the industry and is relevant to what we're doing. Then there's the open Q&A part, where you can ask any question you want or around the course, WebRTC, signaling, messaging, or CPAS. There are additional bonus modules or bonus materials that are available. 
This includes additional le lessons, for example, WebRTC standardization or media algorithms, how they work in WebRTC and why they do what they do. There are also two well pre-recorded live lessons that we had in one of the previous courses that are guest, co uh, guest lessons from others. One dealing with video quality in WebRTC and the other of how to deploy uh, Cotron servers on AWS, on Amazon. The bonus materials, uh, materials is only available through the discount period of, uh, the, uh, of the course enrollment and for corporate plans. There are additional bonuses for those that are going to uh, purchase the course soon. The first one is an ebook called The Perfect WebRTC Developer Profile, where I interview seven different people in the industry that are either developers or have recruited developers to work on WebRTC projects. And this is their worldview of what it requires, what are the requirements from a WebRTC developer. There is a new ebook that is going to be available for this course only and for those that are enrolling soon. This will be called Build to Scale, and it's going to be about how Mijitsi scales its service. It's from an interview that I did with Emil Ivov, who is the founder of the Jitsi Video Bridge, of how they took their video bridge and scaled it geographically across the world for you know, as many people as possible. There are two plans for the course. There is the individual plan for people that just want to enroll on their own, and the corporate plan. Corporate plan are for, for groups of five, five people and more. They include all of the bonuses. The individual plans include the bonus only during the discount uh, time frame, which is a week from now. If you want to learn more about this, I invite you to join me two days from now for a webcast that I'm doing, a webinar, free webinar called Grokking Media in WebRTC. In this webinar, I will review a problem that was posed to me by a company recently. They tried to move from, from CPAS to self-development of a video group chat type of service. We'll go to see what they have done, what the mistakes uh, that took place during that effort. And later on, we'll review what is part of uh, this course. It's going to be part of the launch and in instructions and details of how to actually enroll to the course will be given then. So see you in two days.